there is no chance in hell that that is the item I sent him. He's trying very hard to do a switcheroo. I know what I sent, it was not looking like that. Hello, welcome to my office. Yes, I am wearing a scarf and a coat indoors. I've just got back in from dropping off parcels and I'm freezing cold. I am thawing out, so I'm keeping it on, deal with it. I sold a uh, food mixer, you know the sort of thing chops it grates it blends your food one of them kitchen appliance i sold one of these a couple of weeks ago for 80 pounds i'll drop a picture in here of the listing um as you can see it was listed as new because it was new it was old stock but it was brand new unused in the box new old stock i don't know this thing was 10 15 maybe 20 years old but it had never been used it was pristine it was shiny it was mint it still had like the little manufacturer's stickers on it the accessories were all in their bags it didn't have a mark on it it was new it was unused i'm stressing this point we'll get to this in a minute so sent out the uh, item buyer receives it week or so later in fact New Year's Day <laughs> we get a little message from the buyer I'll read it to you I've got it up on screen down here hi there I purchased this item from you although you've stated it's new because it was the item has significant rust in numerous places and has cracks as you can see in the images I have attached. What can you do about this? What can you do about this? Thanks. I won't repeat his name. We'll block that bit out. And he attached some, some pictures. He kindly provided the evidence of, of this damage. Uh, this this rust I, I thought wow I can't wait to see these so first picture um, this one is the main spindle it is cracked it is uh, dirty and it is 100% not the item I sent the one I sent was brand new unused mint pristine i know what i sent it was not looking like that the next image we can see here i think is where the bowl slides in and locks and you can see it's grubby it's got dirt on it it's got like uh, a little dent there 100 percent not the item i sent then there's this picture which i I think must be one of the little feet underneath the unit um, and as you can see it's it's rusty it's filthy there's like bits of hair on it and there is no chance in hell that that is the item I sent him so at this point I am fuming I am livid and I know hand on heart there is no way on earth that's the item i sent him so i replied here's the thing i i wanted to make it clear to him that i knew what he was doing he's taking pictures of his old rusty knackered machine in order to get his money back and have a free machine he didn't want to pay 80 pounds for it no he would rather have it for free Anyway, I replied to this and said, hi, if you are not happy, you need to open a return. If you return the item, you will be refunded once. We have confirmed it is the exact same item in the exact same condition that it was sent. Nick. So essentially I am without blatantly saying it I'm making it very clear my position on this you know that the subtext of that is 
that's not the item in your pictures that I sent you. And I know it. I will not accept it because I know it's not the item I sent. That's essentially what I'm saying. He then replies and I get this. Hi Nick, would you be able to do a partial refund instead? It'll cost me over £20 to replace the parts. Thanks. So at this point, to me, it's obvious that he's just fishing for some money off. He's now playing the, he doesn't want me to send it back really. Maybe he'll just give me 20 pounds and I'll just, you know, get 20 pounds off the item. I wasn't having that. So I replied with this, no. We do not offer partial refunds. You will need to return the item so we can inspect it and refund you in full once we are sure we have the original item back. So again, I'm kind of... I'm trying to get through to him that... <laughs> I'm going to be thoroughly inspecting this item when it returns and if I am not convinced it's the same item remember he knows it's not the same item because he's doing he's trying very hard to do a switcheroo um, but if he does send my item back yeah I will offer a refund that's how it works distance selling regulations but if you try and send the different item back no so at this point He's got an item that he claims is, is rusty and in terrible condition and he's got to spend money replacing these parts. He needs a solution to this, right? So the next communication we had from him was nothing. He never replied to that message. What does that tell you? It tells you that I was right from the get-go, that he was trying very hard to pull a fast one get either a partial refund or send back his broken, dirty, rusty, filthy one. Because if any of it was true, he wouldn't suddenly stop communicating and give up. Selling on eBay or, or any online platform, people will try and rip you off. But always remember, they are the minority. Most people are genuine and honest and lovely. It's just hard sometimes to remember that. It's a bit later on now. I have finally warmed up. Anyway, I will link another video here about a case we had with eBay where a buyer returned a damaged item and we had to fight tooth and nail with eBay to try and get them to to listen to our side of the story. So check that video out if you haven't. Happy New Year and I'll see you soon.